one of the reasons we don't mess with God is because of its volatility. Yeah, it's highly volatile. You don't want to jump into God and you just want to trade God anyhow without proud knowledge, without proud experience. You, you are going to blow your account. What are you doing? Why are you here? Why are you here? Even people that are professional... Tra- oh, sorry. Sorry. Hello, guys. This is your guy, Michael, the Safely Strategic Trader. All right. So, guys, we want to talk about something very important today. And apart from the fact that I want to tell you some things you have to know about this pair called gold, I still want to teach us about liquidity and how I enter this particular trade that I am. Even though we analyzed this trade together during a Zoom call and I told us the potential places I was expecting um, a bounce, yeah, a bounce, because I told us I still buy gold. Yes, I told us I, I, I'm going to buy this gold. So I told us the uh, the areas I, I marked the areas for us where I, where I'm expecting gold to bounce back, and I told us that if it gets to that area, if it gives me any reason to take trade, that means it's a clean one. I'm going to take my trade. But if price gets to that area and there is no reason for me to take trade, I'm going to watch. My hand should not scratch me to trade to take any trade. Why? Anyway, just follow me as I follow Christ. <laughs> First of all, God is not a respecter of any man, nor trader, nor anybody. <laughs> God can, God can embarrass, God can disgrace, God, you want to kid with God, you want to kid with God, are you kidding me? <laughs> Guys, don't joke with God. All right, so let's get into the real business because I analyzed this market before and I'm going to continue with the analysis. For those of us that did not join the Zoom class and for those of us that have been trying to understand the the liquidity. In fact, the question is, what is liquidity? What is liquidity? I've said this like times with that number. I've explained this. If, if I just put one here now, I was not even planning it, but I just the same pattern, the same everything. Well, I've explained it time with that number. I've I've analyzed this thing times with that number, but. How will I still explain what I will not I will not be tired. I will not be tired. I will not give up. I won't be tired. I won't give up. I'm I'm going to explain it once again for us to understand the concept of liquidity. What is liquidity? I told us liquidity is in okay, wait, wait. I want to do something, please. Okay, now what is liquidity? See, if you cannot get what is liquid, if you can, if you don't know what liquidity is about, now see, I'm sorry to say, you, you may not know it again. No, uh-huh. well, you will know it, sure. you will know it in Jesus' name. But see, I, I decided to come and open this dictionary for you so that we understand what liquidity is. Now, this is liquidity. You can see, this is what liquidity. Okay, they said. <laughs> This is fun, actually, but let me just explain to you before we go to chat. The degree of which something is in high supply and demand, making it easily convertible to cash. The degree or the rate of which something is in high supply and demand, making it easily convertible to cash demand and supply, buyers and seller. If there is no demand, there is no supply. If there is no, if there is no buyer in the market, there is no seller. Who are, you, who are you buying from and who are you selling to? Are you getting me right now? The degree of which something is in high supply and demand emphasis on high emphasis on what on high so when i'm telling you there is liquidity level here there is liquidity level here what let 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 let's read further let's read further where 
I'm not going to read all this all these things now. Let's read. Here it says the state or property of being liquid. Well, that's not where I'm going to. An asset property of being able to be sold without affecting affecting its value, the degree of which it can be easily converted to cash. The degree of which it can be easily converted into what? Into cash. Okay, let me tell you, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something right now. Let me tell you something. Oh, sorry. Some stocks are traded so rarely that they lack liquidity. When markets lack lack liquidity, what does it mean? Anyway, let's let's go back to chart. Let's let's wait, 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 wait. This availability of cash over short term. Ability to service short term debt. No, that's not where I'm going, Jerry. Okay, but you understand what liquidity is now, right? The degree of which something is in high supply and demand. And I use that as an, uh, and I, I, I related that with buyers and sellers. Buy and sell. Supply. When you are supplying something, that means, that means you are supplying it because there is a, what, there is a demand for it. It's, I, I don't know, maybe you are getting me. Don't worry, we understand. By fire, by force, you must understand. Open your ears and understand me in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, we are talking about liquidity in the, in the market now. All these things you are seeing here, eh? Remember one of the definition says definition says, until it is what? Converted to cash. See? All, all these things you are seeing here now, these things you are seeing here, hmm? they, all these things you are seeing, they are as a result of liquidity, they are as a result of buying and selling demand and supply. Are you getting me? So, if, see, my green candle is my buy, my rent card candle is my sell. All those, your 0 0.1 loss size, 0. Point, all those, I've explained this thing before, but no, we stand it. All those, your 0 0.1 loss size, all those, your uh, one loss size, those of you that we over trade, you want to, you want to make million over, <laughs> over the night. You, you entered a uh, one loss size with 15, <laughs> It's fifteen dollars account. <laughs> so all those are lost size. Everything is C. Everything has impact in this market. Everything has impact here. In fact, all these things you are seeing. That's why they said trillions of nera. Oh, did I say nera? Trillions of dollars are pumped into into the market day by day. Yes. So this small candle, this one candle that you are seeing now. This this one one hour candle that you are seeing now. Hmm? This one hour candle, as small as this candle is, or as big as it is, as small. In fact, let me use small one. See, look at this. Okay, look at the candles here. All these chunch, <laughs> all these tiny tiny candles. Hmm? As small as they are, eh, they represent the trade of millions of people all over the world that are trading this good at that particular hour. Eh? It represent what? It represent the money, the liquidity. Liquidity is money. The money that is being popped into this gold market at this particular hour. Are you getting me right now? That is liquidity. That is what liquidity is about. That is what liquidity is what is about. But now, I told us we 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 talked about buy demand and supply, buying and selling right now when you will now know for you to now to now know that okay there is high demand of this particular market mm? before you know that's why we, we said that, that we have big boys in the market we have institutions because now the reason why this can do is like this uh, is because the big boys are not they are not in the market at this particular hour See, if you don't understand this thing, then it will pay me. But not understand. If you don't understand, still let me know. Excuse me. Let me know in the comment section. See, the reason why this can do is like this. This baby can do is like this. is because the big boys are not in the market right now. Eh? So once the big boys come into the market, that's when you'll be seeing all this fly. Pew, pew, pew. Because they have correct money to push the market. They have the correct what correct money to push the market. See, no matter what I will explain here, don't even think I will explain. <laughs> I will explain. 
and and tell you about what we what you do in the prem in the premium uh, uh, this thing when you join you you understand better you understand what each can do stake represent but that's by the way so when you when you now when you when you now see all these small candles now eh, you you know that the the big boys are not in the market another thing is when you now see all this week you know we have candle we have week original candle real life candle their week is what you will use to a uh, uh, wick of a candle is that thing you will light you will you will okay wait because i don't know how to explain again that's a uh, white thing is uh, the white thing that you will light up when you want to light it because some of us we don't really understand simple english language just like me if you notice very well i don't speak i don't speak I don't speak I, I do don't speak good English so something like that <laughs> so the point is the point is eh, see look at the week of the candle this is called a week of the week of a candle this one is even holding it or more this person there eh? that is the week of a candle you can see the old body of the candle but the candle still has a week mm? before you can if there is no week here if there is no wick here, you cannot light the candle. The wick is what supplies power in the candle. It's what holds power hmm. in the candle, right? I want you to understand this. I'm explaining this thing because I asked what, what have I not thought before that you... I asked you people on WhatsApp, what have I not thought be, before that you want me to explain? And you people see, came to my DM telling me liquidity. Liquid, I've... I've talked about liquidity for so long eh? i've talked about liquidity for so long but because it's very important it's very important so if you ask me to repeat it to do it over and over and over and over uh, uh, again i will not be tired i will not be tired all right so let's push let's push further let's push further all these things are called candlesticks they are what they are called candlesticks and all these tiny tiny things represent the wick of a candle so anytime you are seeing wick of a candle like this it represents area y where buyers and sellers are dominating the market it represents where buyers and sellers are dominating the market let me show you an example here of what a candle that look at this green candle here you see this this green candle here is not having a big wick in fact i almost i, I, I almost say there is no wick here apart from this tiny thing which means this place this is pure bias market are you getting me this is pure bias market because for my own chart your chart may not be like this but for my own chart i use green color to represent buyers and i use red color to represent my seller so that i'll be able to differentiate between buyers and sellers easily are you getting what i'm saying right now all right so now this space shows that when this candle opened if you if you do candlestick if you do candlestick when this candle opens this is a seller's market it's closed here it's opened here so when it's opened sellers came into the market and dragged this market down so when they dragged this market down buyers came and dragged it up again so at the end of one hour because this is one hour time frame at the end of one hour then the market closed here which means during the dragging it's sellers that won the battle it's sellers that won the battle i don't want this video to be too long but if it's if it's going to be too long i think I, i'm going to cut it because many people don't like to watch to the end and i don't want anybody to come and start telling me they will not watch this to the end they will not come and start come and tell, tell me again that uh, I should explain what I've explained before. I don't really like that. Even though I, 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 I don't really like like that. All right, now look at something here. I think I need to use that zoom level so that we understand better. Look at something here. So the reason why this candle closed as red candle is because when they drag and drag and drag because the candle op the candle opened here, 
so when it's opened opened here they drag sellers drag the market buyers came into the market again sellers said no we are going to drag it back so they drag it back and they were able to close below below the can the the place where the candle opened so because they closed below where the candle opened that is why it's printed red because seller want the dragging and the bragging right in this area and if you watch this candle here okay let me let me use this candle see you will always see when you see a green candle you will know that automatically this one means buy then you have to go down to see where the market open for that candle when you see red candle that means the candle closed as a sell that means you know that the, for it to close as a sell that means the the opening of these candles started from up and that means when it's closed as a sell another candle will print immediately where this one closed that's why you are seeing them leveling up like this and it's what it's also define where buyers and sellers are going to close i mean we are buyers and sellers are dragging the market and where they are going to close the market this is a buy candle here this buy, buy candle printed green because buyers want the markets when it's opened here when it's opened here because another candle will open where another candle closed for you to know where another candle closed that means you should have understood that that's why you have to paint your can do I, I cannot be teaching us this one again i don't i don't think i i have level one traders here i don't think i have level one traders here okay see look at here i'm settings here i should not this okay settings here you see line and line and candlestick you click on it no 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 no, no. sorry sorry well line a candlestick you have to make sure that you are using candlestick and not bar chart or line chart these are not that things entirely but that's by the way so you make sure you come to colors look at colors here so you make sure you come to colors i'm teaching you this thing like this is like a basic now so now bar up we have bar bar up we have bull candle so because i want to i want my my uh, charts to represent i want everything about bias to be green so i would make sure bar up and bull candle are what uh, that's why they used to call it bull, bull and bear market are you getting me right now so that's why they do call it bull and bear market because bull represents the buyers bear represent the sellers i don't know why the slang is like I, well I, actually i know but that's by the way so at the same time i will make sure bar up and bull they are having the same color bar down and beer candle are having the same color see this thing i'm teaching you i'm not supposed to be teaching you this is just basic one of a thing but let me teach you because i don't want to hear story again and again next time when i say tell you what do you want me to teach you you will be able to to tell me what uh, uh, this is what you want me to teach now we have the dragging here anytime we now you now see weak like this you know that ah or more buyers and sellers are dragging markets anytime you see weak like this the weak i told you about that means liquidity because it is money they used to push all these things it is money money they used to push all these things all these things and the big boys will not come to this market when this thing is they are they are, they are using it to set trap to accumulate orders so all your 0 0.01 all those small small laws they can not compare with that is trading 0 0.01 with someone that is trading how your candle will move with someone that is trading uh what is it called uh maybe a uh, uh, 1000 lot size or 500 lot size you cannot compare their the effect on 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 the chart so it, that that's how that's how it is now all this your zero point zero zero one when you people are dragging market people are putting small small money small 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 money and the big boys are there looking at two people and when they come they will not create a well i will not tell us about that so when they come they will not create a a kind of uh, um uh, awareness they will tell you they are in the market and they will come with the word with a 
uh, with an aggressive movement to clear all your liquidity that are lying in this place all your buys and sets there, there is more to that though but you know cannot be revealing everything in in the free mentorship when when my my mentees are there so when you join when you join a paid mentorship you understand better you can ask me anything and i'll be able to answer you now this particular mark is now this particular mark is now so now for you to understand areas what's the time 20 minutes already so for you to understand areas where liquidity is aligned there are some areas where you will know that ah liquidities are here liquidities are here and before markets can change position market will always clear liquidity it's it, it, actually it's a must it's a must now look at what happened there i spotted the liquidity level here now you have to go back to my previous video or you should go to the this channel's playlist i created the playlist for liquidity go and watch all the videos on liquidity you will understand better so look at this area now most of the time you you you, you, you it, it can be in form of a a a a, 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 a what is it called in form of a trend line like when you want to draw your liquidity it will form like a trend line sometimes it will be like a double bottom or a, a double bottom having this liquidity of a thing having all this week of a thing sometimes when you see before these things will happen markets will always range it will range first so once it range first they are accumulating orders so once orders are being accumulated then the big boys we want to trade against the small retailer the, the mission is always to trade against you people because it is you people's money they used to just like rich men now uh, rich men is each, each uh, it's small small uh, uh what is it called it is um uh, uh poor people's money they gather and, and because it, it you pay for ignorance and they they use their wisdom to their wisdom their knowledge to to take advantage yeah so the small feed the rich simple so now look at what happened there markets came and cleared with this candle cleared the liquidity levels here on this candle so when it's clear the liquidity level here it gave us a reason to do what it gave us a reason to now join the market and i told us before you can i told us told us on the previous video before you can talk about liquidity level or change in the structure of the market that means that means you should have uh, analyzed your trade from higher time frame because most of the time there used to be liquidity levels in higher time frame and this place during the zoom meeting i told you people that if price does not bounce here it will bounce here and i'm i'm actually waiting for price to respond and price actually gave me reason to buy in this particular zone that is why i am in the buy i already have where i'm targeting i already spotted some liquidity levels there are other ways to spot liquidity levels without even disturbing yourself it's because well come for premium premium you understand better you will understand better but don't don't think what i've explained is out of it no i've explained almost everything the only thing that is left is just for you to know that ah once you see it one time this is this is like one time this is what i need to look for that is that is just it that you just only one thing one information that you need and everything is but that information my dear it is where god will help us so like now look at what happened here this is liquidity level here look at this candle here that's the candle we saw in that one hour time frame look at it obviously here can you see it now i will say something that on weekly we cited something on weekly that same day we are analyzing it we said we saw liquidity levels here all these things so we said we expect price to come and clear these levels and why all these levels are there is also because those liquidity levels represent as i uh, told us before they represent areas where liquidities align and for people that are trading support and resistance for people that are trading uh, trend line breakout and all that if they don't understand the liquidity level, we drew this thing to explain liquidity level if you people remember 
we drew this thing to explain the liquidity lying down and here that price will now come and clear it before it even came here that's when we analyzed this and price did the same thing and i said anytime liquidity is being cleared price will always come back to retail before going to that direction and that is what it did here that's exactly what it did here because it first broke to clear the liquidity when it cleared the liquidity it came back with that same candle and it what it continued going up came back again because it's cleared another liquidity level here so it 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 it's cleared it with this candle came back again and it's going up probably to clear this liquidity level or when it gets here it will still come down to come out to come and clear another liquidity level here but we don't just be saying we, we can't just be saying this is liquidity level let me buy this liquidity no there are some other things you put together to understand this concept of liquidity see the time is gone and i think i want to end this video now if you are joining us for the first time please like and subscribe and if you think this video you actually learn something from this video if you don't like if you don't comment you are <laughs> you are a bad person <laughs> you are a bad person <laughs> You are not a bad person, actually. You are not a bad person, but please just try and like and comment and, and subscribe if you are joining for the first time. All right, guys. So I will still explain more next time. But if you have any question, please, please, and please ask. And if there is any topic you that uh, has been confusing you, I suppose to teach us how to calculate pips on on gold because this trade presently is more than five thousand pips. Yeah. From the down sorry i'm using mt5 so it's easy for me to calculate pips on mt5 from the down oh to the top 5216 pips that is 5216 pips yes this particular trade you are seeing just that is that's why i said gold is not your mate just one hour time frame more. or not that ps this thing is just maybe 100 pips or so but now this one is telling us 5000 well that's by the way if you have any question that you are confused about if you have anything that you want me to explain to you please drop it in the comment section and i'm going to be here to attend to all your questions i love you guys do take care of yourself this is your guy michael the safely strategic trader join my mentorship class join my brokers and let's enjoy the market catch ya mm -hmm. oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. victory belongs to jesus victory belongs to me